to God be the glory, great things he has done. He sent his only begotten son to us so that you and I, when we believe, we will not perish nor die. We give glory to God for the new day, this glorious Wednesday morning. We thank the Lord for the new month and the first Wednesday of the month of May. All glory, honor, and adoration be unto the Almighty God, the King of glory, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. We give you all the glory. You are the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. We worship you. We praise you for this new month, the fifth month. Be thou exalted in Jesus' precious and mighty name we have prayed. Amen. This morning, when we look at what is happening in our world, it's causing headache. It is causing people sleepless nights. It is making people to believe that today is the end and there's no tomorrow. It is making, it is giving people sickness and blood pressure are rising and rising and rising. May God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. In the midst of this multitude of problems, the grace of God abounds. The mercy of God is there. The love that he has for us is always there. The power to salvage is always there. So, do not look at those critical things that are happening to us now. But let us look unto Jesus. Let us look unto him. Who can help us? Who can help us? So, this leads us to the psalm of today. Psalm 20. It says, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you from Zion. This psalm is an assurance of the work of God. What God can do in this life that is becoming what we don't want it to become. This is the only God who created heaven and the earth. He created human beings in his own image. He created us wonderfully and fearfully. Despite our sins, he sent his only begotten son so that you and I will not die. I don't know what you are going through. Immediately we enter into May, you are saying it is another month. Am I going to get a job or get a new job? My traveling arrangement, am I going to satisfy it? For those that are still looking on to God, another month of weeping. Am I having my own children or my own child this month? To those people that are aged, that are sick, it is another day of trouble. When will this trouble end? And to the government, they are not finding it, they are finding it difficult because day in, day out, for the past three or four days or one week now, we have been looking for fuel to buy. Our generators cannot run. We cannot put our vehicles on the road. And at the same time, we... we it seems as if those, even those that are building, they are shouting that when will this end? But I am assuring you that the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob is still on the throne. The El Shaddai, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So now listen to the prayer in this Psalm, Psalm 20. It says, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Your troubles are over in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of death that is entangling you is being cut in the name of Jesus Christ. The absence of future and today in your heart that will the future come? Will I survive today in the name of Jesus Christ? Receive a renewed hope. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, are you there? 
in sickness, in a terrible sickness, and you are looking for money to help yourselves, I pray for you. I pray for divine healing. Divine healing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Take your pallet and rise. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I pray, let there be wholeness. Let there be healing. Receive your miracles, receive your signs and wonders, and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. You will not die on, in that sickness in the name of Jesus. You will not die in that sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. God will provide for you. Are you the type? How do we eat? How do we eat in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening? The Lord God Almighty who made the way in the wilderness and provided food for the Israelites is still in that business. So, in the name of Jesus Christ, he will provide for you because he's called Jehovah Jireh. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. He will send you help from the sanctuary. So shall it be and strengthen you from Zion. Your weak frame. In the name of Jesus Christ, I said, receive new strength. Receive new energy. Receive new vigor. Receive new vitality in the name of Jesus Christ. Your present and your future is bright and it is brighter. Your present, the future of your children and grandchildren is bright and it is brighter in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is happening in Nigeria, Lord God, take absolute control. May we possess our possession in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, you have been thinking of building your own house, getting your own car, getting one thing or the other. I pray for you possess your possession in the name of Jesus Christ. In your academics, you are looking for a way to make it in your examination in the name of Jesus. Go higher than that grade right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In your places of work, go higher than that position right now in the name of Jesus Christ. No hardship for you. No sickness for you. No, pov no poverty for you. Joy, joy, galore. Good news is your portion. Your journey will be safe and sound in the name of Jesus Christ. I will end this prayer time with Psalm 25. Psalm 25 is telling you and I to lift our soul and trust in God. You will lift your soul unto God. You will trust in him in the name of Jesus. You will never, never be ashamed in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I pray for you as you have entered into the month of May. All impossibilities are becoming possible. In the name of Jesus, you will shout hallelujah, you will shout hosanna endlessly because the Lord God Almighty is going to come into your situation and you will get over it in the name of Jesus Christ. So let there be peace in Nigeria and all the other countries that are not peaceful. Lord, let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Lord God Almighty, that you touch our leaders so that they will do it right. And with the lead, we will know the truth and the truth will set us free. And those that are making things to be higher, price of commodities to be higher, Lord, touch them. And so the manufacturing sector take absolute control. Thank you, Lord. The power sector, Lord, take absolute control. Because the tariff is becoming higher and higher, Lord, take absolute control. We worship you. We praise you. Those that are pregnant, they will deliver safely. Those that are still looking unto God for the fruit of the womb, the Lord God Almighty will provide for them. Those in prisons, all things work for good for those that love the Lord. So go into me and conquer in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join us next Wednesday on this platform. I know that you have been blessed today. The good Lord will bless you and keep you and you will not remember those troublous days. You will not remember those days of weeping. You will not remember th those days that you have been thinking and thinking. But all things have become new in Jesus' name. Amen.